to both of you. They got you in the fourth quarter last year, and it took them until 28 seconds left to make a field goal in the fourth quarter this year. Just what did it say about putting a stamp on it on the defensive end in those last 10 minutes? Yeah, I mean, um, we were told that we held them to four points in the fourth quarter, and honestly, that's just a huge shout out to Coach Bell and Coach Frank and Coach Ari, our defense. Um, we had a great game plan going in, and we executed it to a T. So um, I think we just trusted them, and it was working for us the whole game, so we just stuck to it. The first game of the, the new offensive scheme, what, what were your guys' takeaways? What did you like? What did you just like? We, we, saw, we, we, we are tired, tired, but we love it, and we also like how it puts pressure on their defense. Like, they were cats between that and then turning around and pressing them 94 feet for 40 minutes. I mean, they were making so, mistakes that they usually don't make. Um, they're a fundamentally sound team. And they were, they, I think we forced them. Yeah, we forced them to turn the ball over, and then our bench um, stepped up big for us tonight. I think we had 20 points off the bench. So um, just having all those contributions is really well, the, the secret is definitely out uh, tonight. Just what was it like unleashing that and just letting everybody just have a front row seat to just the tenacity you all showed for all 40 minutes? Uh, it, was, <laughs> it was fun. Like, you know, we've been perfecting that since the summer. So to do it on somebody like other than our practice guys or each other, like it was just so much fun to play other people and just see how it would look. And, we're happy with how it looks and our execution. What's it like also, not just the style of play, but having all 12 just have an opportunity out on that court and make positive plays? It's definitely a benefit to the way you guys play, but how good is it to get some rest, refocus, and get back in and back on that court? Um, yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to enjoy this one. Um, we have an off day tomorrow, but, you know, starting off our season 1 0 is certainly what we wanted, but we got to look forward to a really good Penn State team on Sunday. What's it also like you had players that maybe didn't have as much of a role last year that really came up big tonight? I mean, the and one that Ramey had comes to mind, the top of the key three from Kate comes to mind, just having their numbers fall and coming through consistently. Just how exciting is that and how important is that with this style of play? Yeah, I mean, we were told um, from the beginning, like, be ready when your number's called. We're going to play a lot of girls. Um, so I think throughout the summer, we just worked on building those girls' confidence and we told them like we trust them to shoot the ball. Like we instilled confidence in them, and they came out and they really showed out for us. What you guys think of some of the, the newer players making their GK debut? Uh, they were all great. Um, Dia, uh, Mac, Mac hit a shot. Um, yeah, Faith Walker. Like all everybody contributes, and like to be freshmen and come in ready with so much poise and not be scared of the moment. Like. I'm so proud of all of them. What's it been like perfecting this this style of play through trials, tribulations, and male practice players trying to find a way to make it work for you all? I mean, it's definitely we've definitely been tired of uh, beating each other up um, in practice, but now I'm our practice players have made us so much better. Um, so big shout out to them. And then you know when we go Duquesne versus Duquesne, we're all making each other better every day. So um, I think it just really showed tonight. How connected our group is. Meg, we've talked so many times about the evolution of this program to not being able to get it done in the fourth quarter to learning just to put a stamp on it in the fourth quarter just says what about how far you all have come in that regard. Yeah, well, um, compared to our uh, two scrimmages before Princeton, um, we, we had a drop off in the third quarter, so in halftime we were really focused on not letting them get a um, get get comfortable. So we just really worked on just just stay true to what we're doing, and they're going to make adjustments. But we just we just kept grounded and we just kept going. And we came out the win. Could you describe the energy the crowd had? I saw you clapping during the defense chant there, Meg. Just what was it like? Just feeding off of them and feeding off of each other tonight. I mean, definitely um, home court advantage is huge, and um, the people that showed out um, that was really important for us, and I think that just got um, our energy going. How did the effort maybe make them maybe want to come back more? How made it more contagious? I mean, if you just watch that game, you should want to come back more. <laughs>
journey, how is it just finding confidence with this group? We talked about how important confidence was before, but just within the principles and just relying on each other and just trusting each other. Yeah, confidence is huge in this style of play because like Coach Bell always says, anything can happen, you're playing so fast, you can miss a layup, you could you can airball a shot, but you have to keep going. So building confidence and having that confidence in each other, like, oh, you're good, you know, we always say that because the way we're playing, it, we're liable to make mistakes, but we have to keep going. A lot of times with style of play, there can be a lot of ebbs and flows, but it never got away really at any point. Just how important does that say against a really talented side that you were able to just keep composure and stick together? Um, you know, the one thing I love about this group, it's, or what worried me was the inexperience. We lost a lot of um, upperclassmen. Um, so we're, we weren't put in that many situations where, like this is, this is our first game, so I didn't know how we would have handled it. Um, but I think we handled it great. Uh, they started to press and we had a couple mistakes, but um, we'll work on it. But this group is, they're just relentless and it's, a, it's really a joy to play with each and every one of them. During, uh, at the end of the third quarter, they hit that buzzer beater and they made you extend the lead. How did you guys just like stay tough and stay resilient? Because sometimes moments like that can sometimes not bring, not there out of somebody. Yeah, I mean, I think they hit a shot at the end of the first quarter to go into the second, and then they hit one to go into the fourth. But um, we just kept composure, and you know, we just told each other like these are the moments like we're built for, and we were ready for it. Uh, just going into, uh, like I said, next game uh, this weekend and pull off one like this week on 24 run in the fourth quarter. Uh, how much does that help you guys kind of get uh, hit the ground running? I think, um, like we know um, this style of play that we're playing, um, it's not going to hit teams until the fourth quarter. And it sure did because we, you could see how tired they were and um, you know, the first, second, and third quarter it was close. They took a lead, but that fourth quarter, the way we're able to sub in and out and just use so many um, players, they were tired. And I think that really just that was the deciding factor of this whole game. What did it say about the effort you guys put in in the off season and what the coaching staff instilled that you guys were able to keep that energy up in the fourth quarter when other teams are starting to fall to? Um, our coaches. Um, have put us in a really good position to be successful. They brought in great girls. Um, you know, Journey stayed true to us, Kendra. We got some girls in the portal. Um, so we knew it was gonna be difficult building that connection because, again, we lost so many players. But honestly, this has been one of the most enjoyable groups. And I think just building that connection on and off the court um, has helped us a lot, um, just with trusting each other. And um, yeah. Yeah, like it's beauty and like a clean slate. So like you get to bowl however you want to. So it's if, to implement this new play style, like everybody bought in because they knew nothing else. So it's easy to do. In Journey, with so many people, uh, you know, either whether it be transfer or graduating, and so many fresh faces this year, do you see your do you see yourself taking on more of a leadership role? Oh uh, yes, for sure. So I don't know for sure. <laughs> Journey definitely has.